This is how you can make a mobile presence for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. So there's a couple ways you can do this, but the way I found most effective is actually editing the discord.js code within your node modules. So to do that, we're going to go over to the node modules at the top and you're going to find your discord.js package. Now there's a couple of them in here, but the one that you want to actually find is going to be at the top here. It's going to be discord.js right here. And you can just go ahead and open this up. And the next thing that you're going to go ahead and do is find your WS right here and then you're gonna find your dist and then once you have all this opened up you can actually navigate to the discord.js index.js which is gonna be right here so you're gonna see a bunch of random code uh, this is the discord.js package within your node module so what you can actually do is you can go ahead and search properties and it's gonna go ahead and bring you to the identify property section now this is going to be on line 523 or 524 so you can either scroll down to that line or you can just search properties I find that's a lot easier uh, and then once you're here you're gonna see the browser you're gonna go ahead and change this to two things you could either do discord iOS or you could do discord Android but for me I'm just gonna go ahead and do discord ios because that's a little bit easier and in my opinion it works a little bit better just make sure you do it like lowercase i and then capital o and then capital s if you do ios or ios or ios or any of these other ways you could do it uh, then it's not going to work so you just have to do lowercase i capital o and capital s and then the code will work for you so once you do that you can go ahead and close your node modules and you can close this index.js now one thing to keep in mind is within your ready.js i believe that the mobile status is going to override any status you had here so if you were to set a presence to idle or do not disturb or some other presence within your ready.js then the mobile status is going to override that. So let's say you realize that you don't want a mobile status on your bot anymore, you want to have idle, then you would go back into the node modules, you go back to the same file you were just in, you would go ahead and search properties, you would be brought right back here, and then you're just gonna go ahead and replace this with default device property. Now it's actually really easy to remember, because right below it, you're gonna see device. You can just go ahead and copy that and you can go ahead and paste that. And then once you do that, the change will be made. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the change takes like five minutes to actually show on the Discord client. Um, if you make that change and it doesn't show up right away, uh, just be patient and let the cache refresh uh, and then it will work for you. But I'm gonna actually go ahead and change it back so we can test this out with the Discord. So now we don't actually have to do anything else. We can just go ahead and open up a new terminal and we can do node space dot and then we can actually go ahead and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server right here, as you can see off the bat, we have our mobile status. So we have our Discord bot and then the presence or the status is going to be the mobile icon. So the same as the labs core and the same would be if a user were to get on mobile and set their status to online. I said this before, but I'll say it again here, this mobile status that you went ahead and changed within your node modules is going to override a status like do not disturb, idle, or even online. The reason for this is because the default device property status that was originally there in your node modules is going to allow you to actually make the change to the status within your ready.js or wherever you would do that. If you go ahead and change it to Discord iOS, then it's going to remain Discord iOS no matter what you set it to. Now, I could be wrong about that. I haven't actually tested it, but that's my assumption. So if you're wondering why you're not able to set the presence to idle or do not disturb or even just regular online, it's probably because you have this still set within your Discord.js index.js. So like I said before, all you'd have to do is go back into your Discord.js within your node module. Then you would find WS, you would find dist, you would find your index.js. You could go ahead and search properties. And then right here, you would go ahead and change it from Discord iOS to default device property. And then over in the Discord server, this would change from the mobile version back to a regular online or whatever presence you had it set to before. So that's how you can set your presence on your Discord bot to a mobile icon. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.